how we got into the forex market, if I give you a bit of a backstory, um, personally, I, I finished high school back in 2015 and joined engineering. Now, engineering was something my mom wanted me to. It was sort of both of us, but she's one who was really pushing for it. I didn't want to do that. I was more of a film student. I wanted to do TVs. I like movies. Now, when I movies, I see those actions. To me, it's sort of magical seeing someone flying people having supernatural powers. I wanted to do that. I had that childlike dream in me and I wanted to pursue that. So I tried dropping out in form two. So I sat down with my parents and told them, you know, I want to go to New York. I used to watch these people like Jaden Smith, you know, the karate kid. He's young, he's a kid. And I was like, I also want to go do the same. Why am I wasting time? I didn't enjoy chemistry that much. I was like, why am I doing chemistry and I can do film? But to cut the long story short, I finished high school, which was a good thing that I was able to do. Then now I joined university. Now joining university, I'm not doing what I wanted. Okay, but the good thing is it, it was a blessing in disguise. This is where I found my partner, Ken. This is where we met. Okay, we became very good friends. We didn't know where our future would take us. Okay, but both of us didn't want to do what we were doing. So I ended up dropping out of um, studying engineering from the Technical University of Kenya. Ken also dropped out and went to study something else. Personally, I went to study film at a school called ADMI. Okay, I was there for about two years. So while I was there is when I learned about Forex. So my cousin came from the UK and introduced me to Forex and she was making good returns and I was like, how did you learn how to do this? And she was like, she just, she, was, she, taught, she taught herself online, she went online, read books and she was able to teach herself and I personally saw, I can do that. I wanted to become financially free, I wanted to do that. So I started becoming interested in the Forex market, that was in 2016 and that's how we started learning. Now Ken on the other side was introduced to Forex because he went to KU. So in KU is where we met our third partner, Taras Lawi, and they're in the same class. And they were introduced to Forex by our other good friend. And they decided to drop out of doing, now they are doing electrical engineering, to do Forex full time. So we are all, we decided to drop out. None of us has degrees, none of us have um, papers. We don't have papers. Our highest learning degree, uh, learning papers was KCSE. Um, we wanted to get to a point where, when you're talking about engineering and you're talking about trading, you're sort of put in the same room and you're respected in the same way. Now, if you talk about Forex, people will be like, it's that scammer, it's that person who does this, trying gambling. So we're trying to create that mindset to teach people that engineering and Forex are more or less the same, such that you can respect it and you can listen to both people doing their respective industries. So that's the financial goal. That's our goal with Financial Hub. We want to take Forex to a level where everyone respects it and everyone understands that you can do this as a career.